After trying many custom rooms, basically insane number of custom rooms I have tried so far. One of the best custom rooms with great UI is this one, which is this custom room. We will talk about that later on. The customizations, the UI, everything we'll talk about in this video. So stay tuned. One of the major things about this one, one of the main highlights of this custom room is this one. Quick settings UI. I tried a lot of custom rooms and if you agree with me, this is the best quick settings panel in a custom room I have ever seen. This is exactly looking like oxygen OS style or you can say as color OS style because a lot of custom room brings you some modified quick settings we have android 11 style we have those android 12 modified you can use iconify you can use avsp mode so many extra styles available but by default in a custom room this kind of quick setting panel looks quite good by the way keep this thing in your mind that not every custom room basically not every device supports this custom room but yes if it is available for your device you should definitely check it out i think so if you're into custom room community a lot of users already got that which custom room i'm talking about but if you are not aware of stay tuned we'll talk about that another thing which is so amazing in this custom room is the settings ui this is fully customizable this is grid and list style this actually looks unique there are many custom rooms we have tried so far but this ui looks actually unique you will definitely love this one and by the way this is not the default ui which i'm talking about right now in this settings ui you can cons you can simply change this one if you're not satisfied with this simply move on the theme style home page style and choose according to you we have three styles available AOSP, grid grid and list and of course if you include the default one then we have four home page styles available for settings it's totally up to you if you want to use it or not we also have some theming options for example signal icons which you can customize we have some theming options available like dark theme pure black theme also some icon shape customizations are also present and there are many more if I move on to the miscellaneous options, you will notice ignore window secure flags, which simply removes the screenshot and screen record limits from certain apps, which does not allows you to buy default. But if you move on to the spoofing options, you're going to love them. Unlimited photo storage, unlock higher FPS in games, Netflix spoof, and also spoofing for all the other apps. So in the terms of spoofing, there are many options available, swipe to screenshot, etc. Basically same features which are available in some other custom rooms too. Exactly same like that one of my favorite features in notification section is the reticker notification this is also present reticker notification plays an important role and for me this should be included i made a video some time ago regarding some of the great features which shall be included in every custom room and reticker notification is one of them in lock screen you will also notice we have the option to customize the lock screen clock fonts although it's not exactly like the same which you have in android 14 right now but it's not that bad we have a lot of new kind of ui options available in this clock settings you have the option to choose the fonts many fonts options present some of them are looking so good some of them of course are not good at all but it depends if i move on to battery options it does not brings you the ios 16 style battery indicator which is available in a lot of custom homes and i have shared with you that that is one of my favorite one but this still brings you some great styles style abc for landscape left side or style abc for landscape right side and many more options already available if you need some customizations then this room could be a good choice for you although it is not having same kind of same amount of customizations available in evolution x os or ancient is but these still are good enough these are the options like in quick setting tiles if you don't want to use the oxygen OS style quick settings UI you have the option to choose from Android 11 style too. Android 11 style actually looks interesting or if you still want to use the default one that is also present this is one of the best things that you do not have these things by default if you want to use oxygen OS style you can use that if you want to use Android 12 or 13 style you can use that so that's good that these things are available as an option so it depends upon you if you want to use any one of them or not i mean if you like one thing of this custom room but if you don't like the other thing it's totally optional in quick settings you also have the option to show the brightness slider in the quick quick settings panel so we have some kind of shortcut for brightness slider to adjust that and you also have the option to adjust the brightness slider position top or bottom and data usage is as expectedly already present in this case so these are the customizations and if you guessed it already this is the one i'm talking about nusantara os version 5.8 is the latest version of basically the last Last version I think so I have ever tried new version is not ready yet while making this video but let's see if they will bring you Android 14 or not but I actually hope they will bring you Android 14 they should give you because
because if they are bringing you this kind of ui in android 13 i'm pretty excited that if they will bring you these kind of options in android 14 too this is it these were things i just wanted to let you know some options are also available in the default launcher or etc etc which you guys can simply explore after installing this thing so if you like this video don't forget to like this one if you need more videos like this one make sure to subscribe the channel i will see you in the next one until then goodbye and take care